Well, it's supposed to be the, the comprehensive tell all, uh, everything's on the table. And he answered every question and it wasn't easy for him because a lot of them were allegations about his, about, about his parents, uh, who are no longer with us. And, uh, it, it was something that that was very emotional for him, but he felt that he had to he had to finally get out and set the record straight because uh, he felt there was a lot of uh, uh, misinformation and slander um, mm-hmm. and uh, doctoring of facts, according to him, that he wanted to uh, clarify. So, um, if you have any 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 anything specific about my exchange with him, I, I'd be very happy to uh, address that based on what he had told me. Well, I'd like to know about his history, and I already know this. This is for the benefit of the listeners. Uh, what specifically went on with the medal of the, and if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I apologize, the Tezi Rond? It's, yeah, you know what? It's actually a lot better than the way I pronounced huh. it like my first 20 times. The Tezi Rond. Uh, so, mm-hmm. yeah, you, you, you got it. You got you got points for that. Uh, so, actually, um, the, the timing of the interview was very interesting because uh, a rumor had just uh, been circulated um, uh, like a day or two prior that he had been fired by the Trump administration. And uh, he gave two interviews that day, one to Omni Magazine and one to, to Fox Radio. And he basically broke the story to us that uh, he had not only had he not been fired, but he had received assurances that he is, in fact, not being asked to step down at all. So uh, I got to break that news. Um, I broke it on Twitter, which is where everything that uh, is breakworthy gets broken. And uh, that's how that went down.